I'm Andrew Kirsch, and for just under a decade, I was an intelligence officer with the Canadian Security Intelligence Service. We're talking about foreign interference, subject I've covered before, but worth revisiting in light of recent developments. I want to talk about what the government is and isn't doing and contrast that with the occupation and the Freedom Convoy in Ottawa. A little over a year ago, uh, Ottawa was seized or sieged with the occupation. And at the time, the CSIS director advised the government that this did not meet threats to national security as defined under the CSIS Act. But government of the day, um, they made an interpretation that the threat to national security was broader. They included things, I assume, like economic security, uh, threats to our sovereignty, to keep our borders open, trust in our allies. And they invoked the Emergencies Act to deal with that threat. For whatever you, uh, whether you agree or disagree with any of it, what I want to say is foreign interference is a threat to national security under the CSIS Act. And it is also a threat under all the other uh, definitions and interpretations that we were using before. Uh, economic security, sovereignty, threats to our democracies. Think about uh, Nortel and Winnipeg Labs and the police stations where local communities are being threatened and harassed. Elections interference. You know, I, I try to comment as a nonpartisan former security practitioner, but I ran for office. I was a PC candidate in the Ontario election in 2018. And I want to tell you that this is a nonpartisan issue. Uh, we had reports that a federal liberal MP was implicated and a provincial PC MPP uh, implicated. And just recently in the news, it suggested that the Vancouver mayoral election was the target of foreign interference. This is not a party versus party or specific to one level of government. This is a Canadian national security issue. Where is our Emergencies Act? You know, uh, the government is saying that they created these uh, bodies like INSERA and ENSICOP to uh, investigate, and they are responsible for reviewing our national security agencies to see if they are uh, doing their jobs, if there have any gaps, if there are things that uh, should be particularly highlighted, and they're doing that. They are writing reports, and these reports are sitting on the shelves. And they are not being uh, actioned. The recommendations are not being actioned. Um, last, I heard that uh, they are asking, calling out for the government to respond to previous reports. You know, the gap here and what we need to better understand is what is the government doing with the information that it is provided? And are the decisions that they are making or not making appropriate for the threat that we are facing? You know, the recent announcement of a special rapporteur to uh, oversee or look into or read the reports of the existing agencies is not going to answer that fundamental question, which is, what did we do, the information we had, and is that appropriate for the threat that we face? You know, as a part of the uh, Emergencies Act, there was a commission, and they had to, uh, the prime minister had to sit and be questioned about his decision to invoke the Emergencies Act. And he had to explain, he did explain, whether you like him or not like him, agree or disagree, he sat there and he explained his understanding of the threat, of their ability to deal and manage that threat, and where he felt that he needed to, the government needed to invoke the Emergencies Act to deal with it. Um, because the existing measures were not appropriate. He made his case. We need that now. We need to have an honest conversation about what we are prepared to do, whether our response has been appropriate or not. Uh, until we get to the bottom of that, we are not doing enough to combat this very real threat. One can hope. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, questions at info at kirschgroup.ca. Until then, stay safe.